I just want to let you know that I have been to Holland many, many, many times, uh, working with the Frommen Corpset, which is the uh, the Dutch Marine uh, Naval Commandos, which are kind of like their SEALs, and then usually every weekend hanging around Rembrandt's plots and having a good time. So I've I've been I've been to Holland multiple times. Yeah, I love Holland, you know, but I'm a Canadian now, but I still like going back there, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, so now, I do. I, I, I write books. Yeah, Be Nimble is the one that is about uh, how the creative Navy SEAL mindset wins. Tell us about that, uh, uh, Marty. Sure. What made so you that, write books to start with? Were you a natural writer? Is this something that you always liked? I've always been a real, real aggressive reader. My, my mom kind of taught me how to read. My dad taught me how to study. My dad made me read technical books, uh, religious books, philosophy, books on philosophy, Spinoza, all kinds of different people that, at, well, I was going through middle school and high school, and between the two of them, I ended up loving novels for fun and the idea that I could learn anything I wanted to just because I could get a hold of a book and learn about whatever was in the book. Right. So I became a self-learner, and I really appreciated both styles of writing and, and the impact both types of you know fiction and nonfiction had on people. I was, I was a decent writer, I think, because I was, a, I was such a big reader. And I've, I've heard that in other books on writing that you have to read a lot to understand and eventually it becomes natural to you. You know when you write a sentence it doesn't work because you've read so many sentences, right? Um, I was a writer in the military. I had a knack for it. I, you know, if you show a knack for something, everybody starts loading you up with, with jobs, whatever it is. Um, so I started writing more and more and more and the more you write, the more you're being crit uh, critiqued and mentored and coached and by the time I became an officer, I was a I was a really good writer in the military style, which is very stilted and very, you know, rigid, but I knew how to write, I knew how to organize my thoughts. I became a writer for our, um, the Admiral in charge of all the SEALs, writing thought pieces and, you know, one, two page um, strategic documents because I could, I could conceive in my mind, kind of storyboard out some real basic steps about the future. And for some reason, that was a knack that a lot of other officers much more senior to me didn't have. So, again, the more I wrote like that, the more they asked me to write. Next thing you know, I'm writing things that are not stilted. They're more about vision and about strategy and the art of the possible. So when I uh, decided to write originally uh, after I was out of the military, I started writing fiction. So I have nine published novels. And I did all those novels before I, I decided to write Be Nimble. 